Hi, welcome to this video series on using IBM Spectrum Protect for ERP and IBM Spectrum Copy Data Management together to protect and more rapidly restore and recover SAP HANA. By using these two together, you're able to rapidly restore the snapshot from Copy Data Management and then on top of that, apply the redo logs that the Spectrum Protect for ERP has backed up. And so this gives you a more rapid way to restore your SAP HANA database and more restore points to choose from. I'm going to be going through these five videos and these five videos generally follow the tech doc, which is listed here at the bottom. So we're going to go ahead and get started on setting up IBM Spectrum Copy Data Management to protect SAP HANA. Inside of SAP HANA Studios, we can take a look at the database and understand the, the parts that make up the SAP HANA database. So if we click on that system and then go in and take a look at the different volumes that are out there. Here you'll see that we have both a data and a log volume and copy data management is going to take a snapshot of the data volumes. It is not going to include any of the log volumes in its snapshot. And this is going to become important when we go to do the restore because Spectrum Protect for ERP is able to not only back up the data volumes, but also the log volumes. In fact, it can back up all of the log volumes except those volumes that are currently being written to. And so copy data management is going to take a snapshot of the data volumes, and then it's going to rapidly restore to the SAP HANA system that data volume. We're then going to utilize Spectrum Protect for ERP to bring back any of the redo logs that it backed up. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look inside of CDM and see how we can protect the data volume. Inside of the IBM Spectrum Copy Data Management user interface, the first thing we need to do is register an application server so that we can take snapshots of the SAP HANA environment. So underneath configure, you'll then click on the application server tab and choose the register button. Choose SAP HANA. You'll first of all enter the name of the database. Then you'll enter the host address. Next, the port of the HANA instance. We're utilizing a physical server, so we'll check physical. Next, we need to enter credentials for the system and database. If you've already saved these inside a CDM, simply click select and then choose them from the saved credentials. We're going to go ahead and enter new credentials, so click new. And we're going to go ahead and create those credentials first for the system credentials. And this is for a user on the operating system of the HANA server. And it's going to be configured to run admin tasks through sudo. And this is things like unmount file system, import file system, etc. So it needs to be that level of permissions. So we'll go ahead and enter that information and create that. Next, we need to enter credentials for the database. And this needs to be a user on the HANA database that'll be used by CDM to connect against the database and run queries or prepare the snapshots. So we'll go ahead and enter that information and click create. Go ahead and click OK on this. And now we've successfully added in that application server. The next thing we need to do is now switch over to the jobs tab. Underneath jobs, you can see that there is an inventory running for the SAP HANA database. And this is basically going out to see which disks and other things are associated with that SAP HANA database. So we'll go ahead and just let that run through. We'll be utilizing a SVC controller to do the snapshots. If you go underneath the storage controllers, uh, you will see that SVC has already been defined. If you want to see more details about this device, you can click on it and that'll show you more information. And once again, this is the storage hardware that we'll be using to create the snapshots of the SAP HANA database. So 
So in summary, we've registered our SAP HANA and all of its credentials to copy data management. We also verified that the hardware that we're going to be using to take the snapshot has also been registered. Please check out the rest of the videos. Thank you very much.